There has been two days of partying throughout all of Hayestown with its 2,000 residents. People are dancing in the streets. Folk and country music is being played by various bands. And huge public feasts are being held after Rough Edge was made sheriff. In the saloon, Rough Edge and Antonio are having some beers together as brothers. And a bunch of other people partying hardcore in the background. You did it, bro. You're the toast of the town, said Antonio to Rough Edge happily. All I did was win against a snobby rich dude who lacked skill and relied on lucky and advanced tech. Well, I used skill and didn't rely on my weapon alone to win. Proudly explained by Rough Edge to his brother. Then two attractive <laughs> South Bell women show up to meet up with Rough Edge. Hey doll, just want to say congrats on winning the title of Sheriff for the next five years. Said one of the ladies. Oh my god, Sheriff. You and your brother are so handsome as hell. You don't mind if we get together for the rest of the night, hon? Sure thing, ladies. Me and my bro don't mind, Rough Edge said while blushing. I'll buy you two a few drinks on me, babes. Antonio said. Outside the saloon, Jacob is finishing his bottle of beer, and then throws it on the ground in anger after finishing it. I can't believe this shit! How could I have lost? Never in many years, I, Hayestown's greatest sharpshooter, lost that easily like that! Said Jacobs while steaming mad with tears, then punching the outside of the saloon. Just then, a mysterious short-haired man with long Japanese-style ropes shows up with a Jijinka wolf chick with messy long brown hair, shows up coming from the corner of the saloon, and meets Fancy Boy. Konnichiwa, Jacobs. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Said the mysterious man while drowning his beat. Jara Tanzano. So what are you doing here? Asked Jacobs in confusion. Oh, sorry to show up all of a sudden. And here you lost your title as sheriff, to the one inside the bar partying. Pretty funny if you ask me. Sajara with a smile on his face. What the hell do you want? Demanded Jacobs. Listen, Jacobs, you know why me and my boys are here. See, I remember like six years ago I helped you in becoming sheriff of this wonderful little town by giving the money to do so, and other resources for you, and even crafted your cool gun. So then I was wondering if you happened to have the money you owed me in return, or at least 25 to 50 percent of it, which would be fine as well. Said Jaro. I don't have it. And why does a rotten, walking pile of flesh want his money back anyway? Questioned Jacobs in a bitter manner. Funny, when I made a deal with your father, he didn't act all high and mighty of himself. He was a poor foreigner, not from the town you grew up in and he begged me for help in fixing his life. And he paid me back, every time. I'll tell you what, I'll give you about two days to pay me back. Jaro responded to Jacob's question. I'm not paying your rotting ass for the last time. And also, I already spent the money on important stuff. Jacob sneered. Yeah, important stuff like that suit you're wearing or other false promises that you have for the town but instead spent it on your own self-indulging pleasures behind the scenes. Daro said in a calm but intimidating tone. Whatever, I'm walking away now, said Jacob, leaving not before giving Jaro the middle finger. I'm going to enjoy ending that man's career, Jaro said while smiling wickedly. Lupus, called Jaro. Yeah, Yavin son? said Lupus. I want you to bring the boys over in a few days, because it appears that Jacobs wants to do things the hard way, and I don't plan to let him walk away that easily, even if it means we have to paint the town in red, instead of him paying for our dinner. Let's make him pay one way or another, explained Jaro with an evil smile. Lupus excitedly said, I like the way you're thinking, boss. A little bit of fun is what we need. Yes, it is, darling. Let's get to work, replied Charo. <laughs>